Uh, we are doing our guided astral meditation for the 1212 Stargate that we're all intensely feeling. Hopefully you guys are um, nice and comfortable wherever you happen to be. If you're on the floor or wherever you happen to be, if you could please be in the seated position if that is comfortable for you. If you need to lay down because you have a bad back or hips or anything, and we are gonna be here most likely for at least an hour. Um, these astrals can go pretty long, but it never feels that way. Uh, because we're, we are projecting our consciousness to higher dimensions. Time moves really differently here and there, kind of like in dream state. And so, um, but we're typically in this space for about an hour. Um, I'm hearing today we're not going to go super long because I'm not the only one who's physically uncomfortable in their body. <laughs> I am more physically uncomfortable than I should be because I tweaked my back with my big ass cat. But aside from that, I think a lot of us are feeling just kind of, this will help um, us get more comfortable in our body for sure. This will release energies, get our chakras all nice and line and balance. Please know that as we go through this, your body will really start my body is already starting to turn on and starting to really activate the super massive tingling that i felt for the last like week really kind of took a dip overnight so now i'm feeling more of that pressure kind of internal but even on my organs i'm feeling it it's weird um and uh but <laughs> so we're just that's just something that's going on right now. So will we will help transmute and, and release density that'll help with this pressure that we're feeling. Every single time we do these meditations, we always come out on the other side feeling so much better. So please get into a comfortable position. Know that the tingling will start. You may get itches on the back um, if this is your first time here. It's very possible that like straight down um, your rhomboids, which are your your shoulder blades and on down will get very tingly and um, itchy and fiery possibly. And so you may want to scratch, you may get itchy on the face or right between the, the eyes or your, or your head. If it feels good to you to take all your hair down, if your hair is up, go ahead and do that. Um, I think my hair would just really distract me. So I'm going to keep it up right now. Um, so know that if you feel uncomfortable, if you need to get up, if you need to move, if you need to scratch yourself or itch or any of those things during the meditation, you definitely can do that. This is not a meditation where you need to stay totally still in body. Um, you can move around, you can sway, uh, your eyes will be closed so you won't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, watch this back later. Don't do that. It's creepy. Um, but... <laughs> I, I'll I'll move around, I'll scratch myself, I'll sway, I'll do all sorts of stuff. I'll be completely still like a statue at times. Usually that's when I'm channeling. I know that for a fact. Um, but you're not forced to stay. The point is you're not forced, forced to stay in one position, in one spot. Um, Do what feels good. Just at all costs, try not to bail. Try to stay awake and pay attention to what's going on. Don't try to, don't go ahead no matter what you see, no matter where we go, what tries to get your attention or what gets your attention, just stay with me. few deep breaths to get started family we're starting here right at 201 11 officially with our guided astral meditation please close your eyes start breathing nice and deep what 
you do want to make sure is we're going to get into positions now, you guys, because we're going to be working with our energetic body and all of our chakras. It's really important that our bodies are in um, a position where we can be as open as we can for all of our energetic centers. So if we're sitting, um, just make sure whether you're sitting on a chair or you're cross-legged um, that you're hips are just right above your or your shoulders are right above your hips that you're not leaning too far forward or too far back there's no strain on your lower back your head is straight up looking straight ahead like you could balance a book on the top of your head chin up neck back so let's pay attention to our body to our posture take a deep breath Nice and easy. Nice deep breaths. Nice and smooth. No particular pace right now, you guys. Just feel the air coming into your mouth down your throat into your lungs nice and deep feel your stomach expanding just take it all the way nice and deep don't rush it again pay attention to your shoulders i'm gonna make sure they're down not up by your ears down flat muscles in your arm nice and loosey-goosey you guys Palms up on your knees or your thighs, wherever it's nice and comfortable. Just palms up, easy fingers. Open up your palm chakras. Just really start feeling into your body. We've definitely been feeling our bodies more lately. Just lots of stuff going on and it's important to take note i'm really being guided to document i'm really bad at it but one of my goals is to document things like woke up at this time went to sleep at that time this is what I ate. This is how my body felt. I was energized. I was tired. I'm really being guided to do this and to share it with you guys. So you guys do it too if you're not already. It is something that we talked about like back in July. So I don't necessarily do as I'm told all the time either. I try. But it, it's important to chart because so many things are going to be changing and, and physically I'm being told um, with our upgrades and and things like that especially going into 2020 and through the Stargate that it's important to, to really kind of document our evolution our ascension symptoms and I'm not too keen on the word symptoms but just how we feel what's going on in our bodies So I'm feeling, I, this is when I start to connect with people that we're doing the meditation with. Start feeling your guys' collect, like collectively, start feeling my body, we guys feeling in your bodies. So I can work it out with you so we can have all of our systems as, as online as possible. So I'm feeling, since we're connecting with our bodies and taking these deep breaths, that there's at least one or more of you that's feeling a tightness like in your abdomen that solar plexus area and kind of up into the chest we talked about this last night too um how some of us or some people have been feeling more of a tightness in the chest the heart chakra expanding releasing opening up so 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 it feel it's feeling to me like two different things <clears throat> So let's work this out, you guys. In the solar plexus area, it's feeling tight. 
So this is like a little bit of trepidation, a little bit of feeling a little um, anxious. So just let's breathe right into that and just let go. Any fear, any anxieties, any worry about the meditation or life in general, whatever may be going on, just acknowledge it and let it go just that you're tightening up just breathe into it at this time I am going to formally thank and welcome everybody for being here thank you so much for your participation for being guided here it is not easy as you see so difficult for people to get here and um because this is a, a real place where we get real information and transmute and receive and and you have to be ready and in alignment for it so it isn't yet for everybody everybody is not yet um, <clears throat> able to receive the directions to get here so for those of you who are here who are here live who who come here after the fact Oh, I'm going to take him into, you guys hold steady for me. I forgot that this is a thing with this cat right now. We can't have you doing that. Take your deep breath. I forgot that my beast is also loud. I forgot about you and this thing. Sweet kitty. Sorry about that, guys. Totally forgot about Kitty. Okay, once again, want to thank you guys all for being here, being open and being guided to do this guided astral meditation for the Stargate and beyond. We're going to be working with our energy bodies, with our spiritual bodies, with our physical bodies, with our etheric and auric bodies all together to get them into alignment as best as we can. And welcome in our divine counterparts, our spirit tribe, our individual lives and souls, ancestors, and all that we are connected to are here to guide us. We're on the other side of the veil. 
with us always your angelic guides and guardians, the dragons, your galactic counterparts, the fae, archangels, ancestors, and of course, the mother, father, God, and all of creation. Please, everybody, just welcome in all of your divine counterparts, ascended masters, Jesus coming in saying hello, archangels, your guides and guardians, your guardian angels. This feeling come in nice and tight around you. This time we're going to ask them to squeeze in nice and tight around you, giving you a beautiful, energetic soul, spirit, body, mind, heart, soul hug. Just still allow for that to happen, for them to come in, for you to feel their energy around you nice and tight. That tightness in our chest is just our bodies being able to accept, receive love, real, true, unconditional love from our souls, from our guides during stargates this is what happens this is how we connect it's all about love love energy our souls are love energy everything is love energy of the light so our heart chakras are a huge part of that opening up our heart chakras we feel a tightness sometimes i talked about having to go to a hospital before when that happened to me so this will happen it'll get really really tight Sometimes it'll contract and expand or do that contraction in before and real tight before it expands. And it may be just take a little bit of, of time, but it's really truly understanding and feeling the love all around you. The more you connect and work with your guides, your angelics, your animal spirits, your... Your connections, the more you will feel this love because they're there because they love you. As they start to come in and you start to feel and feel more peace in your body, tightness starting to go away more because we're transmuting energy, you may see. Behind your closed eyes, the lights kind of popping in around you. So a lot of times this is just releasement of negative energy and as it comes off of the body, and you will see this throughout this meditation. So as it starts to pop off of the body, it'll just be bright, um, especially if you're somewhere dark. Um, if it's dark behind your eyes, then you will see it even more, but you can also feel it. So your body starts to feel into the energies more on the other side than on this physical side when your energy starts to expand, which is what's starting to do. We've been feeling a lot of pressure on our bodies, like we talked about, just real pressure um, with this gravitational influx of that's going on, this pressure on, on the planet and on, on Gaia, on us. So as we get into our energetic systems, we're able to expand out our energy. So I want you to start just really thinking about feeling into your energetic body, start feeling into your chakras, your root chakra, your sacral chakra, solar plexus, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, crown chakra, your feet, bottoms of your feet, your 
palms, top of your head, all the way down. Start thinking about all those channels of energy and electricity going through your entire body, how your energy. Now I start to sway. I don't know about you guys. That's what I'm doing. Just feeling the energy. Just imagine the energy pulsing through your body, going up, going down, going all through your energetic system that's within your physical body. Your energetic grid and components now everything talks to itself a super complex computer organic but definitely a computer definitely working on energy definitely working on programs being able to connect wirelessly to things we cannot see just like a computer so we expand our energy out, turning up and on all of our chakras, just feeling in our energy, just let it transmute anything that may be uncomfortable, just breathe into it. Anything that tightens up, just breathe into it, find it. Don't tighten up on it, breathe into it, release it. Just tell your body, release. Quick little mantra, I release and I receive. I release and I receive. I release and I receive. More deep breaths, just thinking about your energy, all the energy going throughout your whole body, getting invigorized, invigorized, invigorated by all of your chakras just pulsating at the same time, just going out from the center. Your, root chakra that beautiful red orange with the sacral yellow with the solar green with the heart blue with the throat indigo with the third eye and violet with the crown mixing and blending together sending through um, pulses throughout your entire body and tell your body we're going to find anything dark and negative we're going to push it out we're going to run right over it. it's going to get out of the way it's going to leave the body we're going to turn up the volume on all of our chakras at the same time just turning them all up bigger and brighter blending together all the way down all the way up and start feeling this energy pulsating <sighs> nice deep breath make sure your body is again nice and straight Shoulders over hips, palms up, head up, chin up, nice easy face, no tightness anywhere in the body, make sure you're nice and comfortable. So at this time, we're going to work with expelling even more negative energy from our bodies. We're going to take really nice, deep breaths, and we're going to push out the air. So before we're doing super easy, breezy breathing, now we're going to inhale, and we're going to push out all the air really, really forcefully. We're going to inhale again, push out all the air really, really forcefully. We're going to do this three times. So let's just take note of how we feel right now in our bodies. And how we're going to feel after. So let's take a nice deep breath. In through your nose, in through your mouth, whatever feels good, hold it. And then push out. Breathe in. All the way and hold it and then push out and then in and then out push hard and then get back to center Nice. 
Good job. Feeling even more tingly now, but in a really good way. Starting to feel it. We're starting to feel it on top of our head, just expelling more energy out of the body. Okay, now we're going to do something else to get rid of even more negative energy from our body. Real quick, we're going to let's rub our hands together. We want to get as light as possible, as minimal in density in our physical body before we start to astral travel so we're not distracted. As much negative energy as we can transmute, the better with this. So we're going to rub our hands and then clap hard three times. Do it again. Again. Or four. I can count. And rub your arms, rub your legs. back into center get comfortable with your shoulders over your hips again nice and straight think about all of your chakras have the perspective of looking at yourself from outside just a few feet in front of you as if you were standing in the room with you looking down at yourself looking at yourself just seeing your body but it's transparent And you can see all the different energy centers and you can see all the different electrical charges and pulses going. You can see what your, how it's working in your heart and how that's connected to your heart chakra and how all the organs in your abdomen and in your pelvis are connected to your sacral and your, and your solar plexus chakras. You feel down, starting to feel activated in that root chakra, getting tinglies down way low. <laughs> Open up that channel, just let that go. Sometimes we just kind of innately close off that root chakra because it's it can there can be kind of associations there or, or impulses or addictions or all sorts of different things but we want to open that up let it go remember I release and I receive this is a good time to take note of anything that you may be feeling or seeing or visions that you may be getting things that your guides may be showing you or making you aware of in your own body memories or things or visions things or people places situations experiences popping into your head at this time just take note acknowledge them so before you push them away because you're like no i don't want to think about that i'm trying to do a meditation take note of what that is and promise yourself that you're going to revisit it later. Like if somebody just popped into your head, you're like, what is this about? Well, you're in a meditative state and you're getting information that maybe mostly or a lot of times you're closed off to. So this could be happening because we're opening up the channels of communication and now you start getting all this random information coming in. This is why a lot of times people bail out of meditation because they're like, oh, this random shit's coming and I can't stop thinking and F it, I'm out of here. I can't do it. So we just need to, all that needs to happen is just to acknowledge it. Send whatever it is that's coming up, whoever it is, whatever it is. So these are typically things that need and require our attention for transmutation or for connection in some way. So we need to acknowledge it so we can make room for further information or we get clogged up. So anything that may be coming to you at this time, any people, places, experiences, any past traumas, any situations, now at this time or throughout this meditation, please just take note, acknowledge it, send it love, and then release it. Just imagine, imagine it turning into a little butterfly and fluttering away. Another deep breath for me, please. And the more you do this, the more things will start to quiet down in your mind and you can feel into your body, really start to open things up.
And if you forget this later on, you can listen to this again. You'll remember, you can ask your guides, what was it that came up that I should be paying attention to for releasement? They will let you know. Okay guys, so at this time what we're going to do, I want you to imagine your, we're going to be working with two things right now to really transmute some energies, connect with our beautiful Gaia and our own um, cosmic brothers and sisters and the planets and our universe and all that good stuff we're going to start working at this time with our infinity symbols and our Merkabas so first we're going to start with the infinity and how we do that is we imagine we see and we feel just coming up from the center of us right out of that solar plexus chakra, the center of us, the center of our own little personal universe here. We see that infinity sign and symbol. We see it electric. We see it go from small to big as it's coming out of our body. So we're going to have the, the one loop at the, our head, the one loop at our feet, and that like intersection straight at our solar plexus. So just imagine it getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Until it's expanded, connected at those three points. It's looping around the top of our head and down past our feet. You can imagine as if you were even like standing up nice and straight and it would just be expanded now see it starting to come alive with energy and see the pulses of energy going all the way around it and just going around and pulsating out with each one of your breaths it's pulsating out your energy with each heartbeat sending out your frequency Connecting with Gaia, connecting with Mother, Father, God, connecting with all there is in each and every one of our brothers and sisters, whether they're aware of it or not. Connecting with our souls and our soul stories. Opening up, connecting, opening up and connecting. Nice, deep, easy breath, please. So as you can witness yourself sitting there, seeing all of your chakras lit up, blending into each other, sending pulses of light and energy throughout your body. You see your infinity sign. You see it up and down all around you. See all those energies cocooning around you, just expanding. We're going to start working with our own personal sacred geometry, our Merkabas. As you witness yourself, see it start to emerge and take form, starting to come straight out of your heart chakra. 
superimposed in and around your infinity symbol, whatever it is that you may see, your own sacred geometry coming out, lighting up and expanding different colors. It may move. There's different points of light, all different lines and images. And if you can really look at it, there's all these, uh, like transparent mirrors helping to multiply and radiate out your frequency, your soul song, everything amplifying, being charged up by your energy centers. Again, from root to crown, think about each and every one of your energy centers, focus in on it, think about it, expand, turn it up, each and every single one. We're doing this immediately. Um, we'll start feeling warm in our chest, working with our Markavas, opening up and expanding our heart chakras really, really does this. At this time, I'm getting the message that Archangel Michael is coming in to be with us. He's with each and every one of us, just kind of over your left shoulder, if you can feel him there. He's, um, putting and if you accept he is integrating and, and giving you energy to um really supercharge your Merkabas, really sending pulses of love light in to and through your heart chakra if you could just feel that i'm going to be quiet here for a minute so we can all feel that and i can too Okay, so Michael has messages for us at this time. Hello, dear ones. This is your brother, Michael. It is so very good to be with you here today. Thank you for receiving my energy and helping you expand yours. Today, I want to talk to you about being scared and fearful, not of the things that are of the world or beyond, but of your own self, your own potential, your own expansion and your own evolution, the things that you are being pushed and guided to do and to be aware of, but the things that are holding you back from doing them. It is very normal and part of the process to be scared of what you don't know about yourself and what is on the other side of decisions to move forward, to put faith in those of us here with you, but on the other side that you cannot reach out and touch more and more you are understanding that we are truly with you all of the time and you can touch us just not in the way that you are used to touching 
have faith and know that these fears are just remnants of experiences in which you did not have the information that you have now. You were coming from a place of limited knowing about yourself and everything else where understanding things that did not make sense, had no answers, but now you are in a different place, aren't you? You have been through a lot and overcome so much. You have healed. Yes, sure. You do have more to heal. Focus on what you used to be afraid of, what you used to not know, what was once new to you and now is no longer. Can I do it? What's on the other side? Can I trust this in myself? Yes, you can. We are here to help you do just that. I want to remind you, we here, we champion you. You are so very important and strong and you are alive. And that is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. There have been times in your remembering now when it did not feel so beautiful to be alive. But now, think about where you've been and where you are now and you can see the beauty in your evolution you can see the beauty and feel it within you all of this is for a purpose there is a process everything every choice you make every message you get everything. The things that are exciting and fun, beautiful in your lives, in your world, the things that are painful and dark. both meaningful, special, going through all of these things is necessary, is you being you. No regrets, that is right. No regrets. Regrets are landmines in your evolution, in your healing, in your ascension. Regrets are clues to you that you have not seen the greater picture in the particular situation. So, dear ones, if you do have regrets, worries, anxieties, fears of yourself and your own power, your own missions, your own soul journeys, anything that may come up for you, anything that needs attention, they are packaged in fear and anxieties and regrets, things that you call mistakes.
know that we bring these particular things and themes to you now so you may release them you may witness them acknowledge them see them for truly what they are experiences nuggets of understanding and wisdom for your own soul journey and for others that come after you to help Do not fear the unknown in your spiritual journey. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace the process. Embrace the surprise. Embrace the miracles. You cannot know all. It is impossible. And it would not work to have all of the answers and know every single move you need to make all of the time it would not work there is not the time or the capacity to do that to live that way and you're not there to do it that way anyway you don't need to know it all you need to know that on the other side that you do and that we do and that we give you the information that you need moment to moment situation by situation and everything in between to help you but think of the elite warrior that you are you are there for a reason you have learned and done so much not only in this time in this lifetime in this incarnation but all of the ones that you are connected to we have said this before and we will continue to say it to remind you time and time again you are there as an elite light warrior you wouldn't be there if you were not capable if you did not have a special purpose and a part in the machine of the mission of what is happening upon Gaia the healing the clearing the ascension the unity the understanding the connectedness truly beginning now and in the coming days so much on the horizon for you and reminding you to let go of the fear of yourself of your soul to let go of the fear of identification let go of the fear of stigma let go of the fear that you cannot stand and be true and authentic to who you are there now only the most elite of us are able to go and be in body to stand strong to at one point have the voice to speak truth a hundred percent in every moment this is what it takes this is why so many came from so many places throughout creation at this time and the young ones that are there now that will grow up they need to see from you that it is safe maybe not all will understand but the ones who are meant to will the ones who can understand your language of truth they will it is important to understand
You are there for each other. You are a family. We are family. We say brothers and sisters because we are family. We help each other. We heal each other. We guide each other. We are family. And as family, all we need to do is whisper. And we are there, always with you. We are family. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for being who you are. Strong, relentless, for being open. I want you to remember always, I, your Archangel Michael, I am always with you. I carry my sword of truth and of love to guide you and protect you. Do not fear yourself and your own strength and your own power. Do not give it away either. Do not let dark forces manipulate you and keep you from yourself and from each other. Fears of closeness and of love are dark and can be dismantled easily. You must not let your histories of pain and suffering things that were called love, but were truly not love. You know what love is, truly in your hearts. Do not ever turn away from the truth that is love for fear of pain. True love brings no pain, not if you truly understand it. Have no expectation. Do not attempt to chain down yourself or any other and experience true, fearless, unconditional love that you as a soul know through and through. And call on me and my brothers and sisters of the light to remind you, to heal you, to guide you, to comfort you at any time. We and your guardians that are with you always want nothing more and your peace and your happiness to guide you if you allow us ask us we are always willing to give thank you so much thank you for being here for listening for connecting for believing in your own self and the truth I love you dearly. <sighs> Sorry guys, I don't usually get so emotional. But he was um <laughs> really so intense thank you Michael you're the best okay guys um deep breaths just take in what he said
Okay, guys, moving right along. I feel and and being told that Gaia is going to be coming in now. Hello, dear ones, my beautiful children. This is your mother, Gaia. So many emotions. You should be feeling so deeply the words and wisdom of Michael. Thank you, Michael for reaching and teaching my beloved children. My dear ones, my babies, you are also great and powerful. You are so beyond me and my body. As my message is to you earlier, we are one. You are me. I am you. You are here with me in that place and space and time like you have been before in so many other times here upon me and my body and you're a different incarnation when you have come. However, we, you and I, all of your brothers and sisters across my entire body, we are heading into a new place, new place in time. Yes, witness now as though you are flying, as though you're a bird over the oceans, over the mountains and the rivers and the streams, the valleys. Remember the places of me you have been in this lifetime and in others all the places that you are connected to here and elsewhere our galactic family try to remember more and more you are a point of light so many points of light you have been and you are connected to connect your point of light to me another point of light. More and more you will find the truth of you. As you know and as has been talked about over these last two days or more, This time is about seeking balance. It is about reconnecting with yourself and who you are, the strength of you, your all powerful self, understanding and eliminating the disconnections, forgiving those who try to keep you separate from yourself. Maybe in a place of fear of the truth of yourself. And so many of you 
know are getting more and more of the picture of the understanding of the greatness, the expansion that is happening within you about yourself. So you may learn, so you may remember. Also, because of this, many of you, as Michael spoke about, many of you at times feel the fear of the greatness, the overwhelming avalanche as though one of my mountains will topple on top of you. The anxiety of why you are here sometimes can be crippling. So much so that you choose to stay away from others and stay isolated at times. Maybe not even venture outside for periods because it feels uncomfortable and very large. Even though I do know you do love me and love being upon me and witnessing my nature. There have been events and situations in which feeling safe have been difficult. You are validated in this. You are understood. It is understandable. It is difficult. It is very difficult at times. But you are not alone. And you are guided. You are protected. You are to focus on the beauty of all there is, expand. The evolution is coming individually for all of you are so monumental, but trust us, you will be given block by block the pieces to build your foundation for the future. They at times will be large pieces, but you can handle it. You can build from this, create from this. Acceptance and acknowledgement Yes, things are large and big and monumental, but please remember you are to experience life and enjoy everything that you can, the bliss, the harmony, the peacefulness that comes with the balance of living in a body that you have. It can be difficult and complicated can be very frustrating, yes. But remember as well, as your perceptions and perspective expands, as your awareness, as your focus grows larger, as the wisdom and the knowing, the information from your own soul, from different incarnations upon me here and elsewhere, the connections to your guides and your guardians,
all of these things are at your disposal. Remember it so you can remember yourself. The more that you do, the more that you push through, the more you remember your souls and each other, the easier it is to connect, to let go of fear. We are working always to connect and to help you connect. And more and more of you are coming into alignment with the different parts and aspects of nature, of your energy, of the symbiotic relationship that we have together. I want you to understand, dear ones, if this is the first time hearing me or you've heard me many times, I, like Michael and all of the others, am able to be contacted and you can speak with me. Call me Gaia, call me Mother. Call me any name that feels good to you and have the intention of connecting with me. There's many different names that I am called. But when you call on me, understand that I am with you. I have always been with you. I hold you every day. I was there for every single time you were born and every moment of your crossing over. I have seen you come into and go out of body. I know you. I am here for you always. I love you deeply and dearly. I want you to know how much I appreciate you being here. Again, to help each other. As Michael said, we are family. You are family. We are to bring each other to the table to sit with each other, to be there for each other as more and more awaken. More will be awakening. So much is changing. And like so many other times, and as we've said before, many things need to fall down, be deconstructed. Before they can be rebuilt again. At this time in, in the months to come, more will be brought to light of the systems that have been put in place upon me in order to control you. And as more and more of you awaken and seek truth, have faith in us, and in each other. More will come to light, more truth, and more things that are 
destructive and take from you, take from me. and are hurtful and destructive and meant to keep you from your selves, your healthiest selves will begin to crumble more and more because the tolerance is evaporating as more and more of you awaken. And it is important for you to let go of the fear that keep you silent about who and what you are and who and what you know. As you come together in the coming weeks and months and years, your collective understanding will build bridges to the future. This time and this place will be so different from what will be. I am ready. Humanity is ready. Each and every one of you are ready for the new time. Thank you again, dear ones, for being here on this day with me. So much is happening energetically in our neighborhood, in the cosmos in which we all reside. We are lifting off to a higher place in time through this stargate. I know some of you feel it in your bodies. I thank you for being so connected and working with me in any way that you do. Thank you again, dear ones, for being here. I love you dearly, my dear sweet babies, my children, my family. You mean so much to me, each and every one of you. Remember how much I love and cherish you, how much we all do. We are always with you, ready to connect and be with you. Until next time, my dear ones, thank you for being here. Okay, guys. <sighs> Those are two very different energies. <laughs> Michael and Gaia. Um, now we are going to um, move on to uh, working with our DMT activation. So just take a moment there, just take a couple of breaths. Get settled and try to Get back straight with your shoulders and your hips and your your head, your chin. You're working with our DMT, doing a DMT activation. And for this, we're gonna be working directly with our eyes. We're gonna be using our hands. So what you want to do is, I'm going to look really scary with all my crying on my mascara when I smush my eyes, but here goes <laughs> later on. Okay. So what you do, you're going to put the palms of your hands and right the heel of your hand is going to go right into the eye socket. It should fit perfectly. 
gonna intertwine your pinkies and um, if you can your ring finger and just kind of wrap your other fingers and you're gonna get your thumbs right over and around your temple area and just hold it there get it nice and dark and just kind of want to just get comfortable in that position um, and then this is how we're, we activate the, the DMT the natural DMT activation we're working directly with our pineal gland that is in our our brain we're going to be pushing um, on our eyeballs our eye sockets to activate because our eyes are our two eyes are connected to our third eye it's the most direct way and channel directly to our third eye and to releasing DMT and so we can um, open up and receive um, better communication from those like Gaia and Michael and all the rest and ourselves and our souls so nice and easy nice and slow and if it helps to so push your put your head down and kind of push down into your palms you can do that whatever feels most comfortable because this does start to get weird on different <laughs> levels um so what you want to do is just right now just start to push in um nice and steady just push in push in push in I'm gonna start to see things um patterns and lights and things starting to um, take form just keep pushing in take a deep breath at this time um we can start to feel a little kind of i don't know it, it you get different sensations throughout your body especially since you've been already activated and turned on all your chakras and all this good stuff when we're working with our third eye and pushing on our pineal you start to feel uh, maybe your heart will start to race a little bit you'll get really warm just pay attention to what's going on behind your eyes and start to see the the shapes and figures and forms and maybe faces you're going to start to see um, things get bright I want you to blink your eyes a few times for me and what you start to do is you start to see with your eyes closed push in keep pushing and just hold steady and if you start to see a either a bright dot or a dark dot you want to focus in on either one of those the bright dark dot or the or the dark dot <laughs> the void of light or the light either one kind of one in the same and just focus in on that because they will flip back and forth focus in on that focus focus don't let your focus change or leave just focus on on that dot and go into it keep pushing on your eyes make sure that your fingers are wrapped nice and tight around your head push in now it can feel really weird it's a weird pressure especially if you're not used to it if you haven't done it before just push in follow that light blink your eyes a couple more times Take a deep breath and just start to see what happens what starts to come in take note and if you start to see a wormhole a big space open up you're feeling guided to go in don't be afraid just go with it go into it follow it through things might get bright and dark and just go into it as it expands around you blink your eyes a few times push in again might start seeing um, like the balls of light twisting and turning and start seeing that that void that tunnel go into it anything else that may come just releasing DMT getting any of the visions that may be coming this usually makes me extremely warm keep doing it just a little bit more push in and pay attention to what you get I'm gonna be quiet so we can see and get and receive any messages here for just a minute
Okay, one last push, you guys. And then on the count of three, we're going to let go and release. One, two, and three, let go. Take a deep breath. And just feel that release, that expansion inside your head and your brain. Feel that energy just kind of floating around. Just let it go. This is going to, once you push in and then let go, you're going to get that real DMT release going all through your nervous system. So just let it flow and be quiet here for a minute. Visualize that just going throughout your nervous system, your bloodstream, just going all the way through, cycling through. This will be in effect for the next 24 hours. So your meditations and your astral projection, your dream time, anything like that is going to be enhanced and really vivid. If you feel a little queasy, just take a deep breath. Just get back into your energy system just let it go I know that sometimes that happens sometimes people get nauseous with all that going on um, so just get back into it just feel it going throughout your body and just feel the sensations deep breaths cycle it through Get a nice, easy, breezy smile on our face. Feeling that release, feeling the calibration. You want to feel your infinity symbol nice and big and wide open, pulsating out. The theme here is to let go of fears, trepidation, anxieties, or worries about the future anything from our past that's still pockets of energy anything that we're holding on to we want to make sure that we're getting more and more um, filtered of and releasing through this stargate We are going to do a visualization. Please imagine yourself floating up and becoming one with this beautiful, shiny, reflective orb that you can float around in. It's charged by your energy. You can lift off from it. You can move around. I want you to feel buoyant in this reflective sphere, sphere and bubble that you're in. It's charged by your own energy. It's protective. And... Let's pretend you have no ceiling, no roof to your home. You can just float on up. You can look down on your home, on your city. Float on up higher, get a higher perspective of Gaia, your neighborhood. Just keep going higher and higher, higher and higher. And 
just take in the different sights that you can see just around where you live for a few miles. Just go higher. Send out your intention. You're going to radiate out your loving intention with your energy, your infinite love light energy coming directly from your soul. Nice and light and bright. Just sending it out. Use your palms. Use your hands. Send out loving energy. You're floating in your sphere above your home, above your neighborhood, above the city, the area that you live in. You're going to send out loving energy, clearing energy, intentions for healing Gaia, all the animals, all the different realms and kingdoms upon Gaia. You as an anchor of light there above your home and your neighborhood, the area in which you live, and you're going to send out radiating energy all the way out, 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 out. I want you to travel. I want you to travel in your sphere, and I want you to go to the nearest body of water that is by where you live. I want you to take yourself there. So whether it's the ocean or a lake or a river, anything, anywhere that's the nearest. And we are to take ourselves in our in our sphere and go to that body of water fly right directly above it right in the center wherever makes sense that center that's balanced that you can think of and just see and look all around you the information the visions that you're being sent right now of this area just look around, take it in, look to the left, look to the right, look around Gaia, look at where you're showing, around this body of water. Think about all the different animals and people, everybody that may be around there or not around there, either way. If it's iced over, let's think about it as though it is not, as though it is flowing. And we are going to submerge into the water with our bubbles in our spheres. We're going to submerge, we're going to go down, get into the water. So just let yourself descend into the water. Start to visualize things, what you're seeing in the water. Again, sending out pulses of energy, radiating energy. And I'm being told that we're doing this. We're using our nearest body of water. So if it's the ocean or a lake or a river. And we're going in or working with this energy of water because water flows, the energy flows, the healing can flow through the water. Working with Gaia, connecting with Gaia, sending out your energy, receiving her energy. So feel this energetic flow when you're in the water, in your sphere, and anything else that you may be seeing or feeling, sending and receiving this energy. See it as a beautiful, glowing, purpley, coppery, golden light rainbow, iridescent, all this energy that you're feeling, your sphere itself, what it's pulsating out, what it's bringing in as you're in that body of water. I'm being told that with this gate, it is very much connected with the flow of water with Gaia herself with the energy and the balance that has to do with water. Connecting with this gate, a lot of the energies that um, is working with Gaia and a lot of 
um, clearing energies, whether it's um, in the atmosphere, in the air, or in bodies of water. Um, we're going to be working with that. So please take that information in. The theme of this Stargate and going into the new year is really going to be more about water, of this sea, of connecting with our with our ocean families, with our ocean family and the different um, beings, um, galactics and fae that are in and within the oceans and for us to connect more. And this Stargate is going to be doing that more for us. So if we are in alignment, if you are guided as star seeds or angelics or elementals or fae, whatever you're most connected to and feeling as you go through your stargates, go, go through your ascension process as you feel into your soul, whatever it may be, that we are connecting on those levels with those of the, the ocean areas of Gaia and more awareness in, in this and what we're going to be doing and working with um, in, in that regard is going to be a theme and this Stargate is um, one of the big connectors of that as we go forward into the new year. It's also amp being amplified um, with, the, uh, with the eclipse uh, on the 25th and all of the energies that come with that. Very uh, important day for so many people. And working with um, those energies, those clearing and healing energies, those those energies that are so conductive as well, that offer energy. Water is energy too, so we where water is so very much important um, in all of this within our own bodies, within Gaia's body, and with how it is the home for so many that we are connected to. So just for a little bit longer, imagine all of these things, all this information, whatever is being shown to you, and just uh, make it a point to be with and think about and work with water, the element of water. Meditating in water is definitely always extra powerful. Highly recommend it. So you can take yourself back to the space and remember what we did here with this anytime. Just a few more moments here, just connecting and then we're going to start to come up out of the water and being shown. So witness now the difference in energy as you come out of the water and look down at the body of water in which that you were just in with your with this exchange of energy with Gaia, with yourself, and see what that looks like and how different it, it looks and just uh, satellite up even higher, keep going higher and higher. And you can see from different points that this light and this water is flowing all throughout Gaia. And I want you to rise up all the way to about 10,000 feet, nice and high, where you would be in an airplane and um, that you can actually see the ground and see the grids and, and, see, and see what's going on on the ground, not super high. But high enough, and I would like you to fly around. We're being shown. I'd like you to fly around. Just kind of slowly take your time going over the land and different places that you are aware of or you're being guided. Different places around Gaia. Take note of any visions, anything that may be coming into your mind.
still sending out pulses of your energy for receiving, for clearing, for healing of Gaia and our brothers and sisters. Remember, we are in the mode of remembering ourselves, of connecting and sending out the energies through this stargate to our brothers and sisters who are awakening, who are just waking up, or on the different levels of ascension. Just imagine looking up from this perspective, being high, looking around, and start to get and witness glimpses and, and others high up in their in their protective spheres and their orbs, their beautiful bubbles of love light. You now as time goes on more and more and more. connecting so witness them now see your brothers and sisters floating above Gaia connected to Gaia remember you can always do this you can always connect and work with your energetic body get things going get into your sphere move around Gaia be guided to where to go to help heal there's so much we can do from connecting in astral and meditation We can see and witness so much and see ourselves and each other. Have the intention for clearing, for healing, for going through this stargate as light and bright, as free of negative energy, connected to the abundance matrix more and more. so much beautiful positive abundant energies coming through for all of us at this time through the end of the month and beginning of the year and we will be continuing to tap into those energies as we go forward so now just wrap yourself do a do a another pass around wherever Gaia may want us to go, maybe taking you. And then make your way back home nice and easy. Take your time. We've let our infinity symbols come out and expand and glow around us we've connected and charged our personal sacred geometry our merkabas we're fine-tuning our soul song so it can be heard by our by us in our bodies and each other on all different levels of existence and time and space and we're reaching out through time all expressions of us in every single place and time in any incarnation sending healing loving clearing energy all the way out and all the way back any and all points in time and any expressions that we have been incarnate or otherwise again having the intention of being as free and clear of as much negative energy, as much density, as much influence of anything that is not of the light. Letting it go, letting it slide off, being guided in which ways to release, which ways to heal and to clear and to go forward as healthy as we possibly can each and every day. Please make your way back home. Again, no roof, no ceiling. I'm just going to go right back down into where 
you are in your space and get into body. Just feel the energy in your body so much looser now, activated, relaxed, transmuted, and just know that for the next day at least you're going to be having the effects of the dmt and you are too at any time do what you're shown here and activate with your dmt let it go let it flow open up more through these next few days of the stargate there's going to be a lot of physical sensations just remember the more you can do to breathe into any discomforts please use your bath use your shower use any natural bodies of water if you can get there to help you heal physically and just get back into body start feeling back into your surroundings and your body just think about where we went and what we did I'm getting the information now that we're only going to be doing so much today. We got messages from Michael, messages from Gaia. We activated DMT and our Merkabas and our infinity symbols. We went into bodies of water and we've been all around Gaia in our spheres and our beautiful bubbles of light. I'm being told we're going to reconvene here in a few days and do more work with this Stargate. But for now, we are to be very proud of the work that we've done, very happy. I hope you all feel really, really good and, and much more comfortable in your body. I know I do, for sure. So take your time to just get back into your body, feel into it, get comfortable. What we usually do here is if you're guided to come back into chat and to quickly have a chat and talk about what we experience, we will do that. Otherwise, you can um, please do also come back and leave comments. This is how other people can get to see what we do here with engagement. Comments, shares, likes, and subscribes is what gets it done you guys other than that just take your time here and take the next minute or two before you open your eyes and get back into body just think about where you were what you did what you saw what visions may have come in if you need to quickly write any notes down or anything things that you're supposed to do or remember And again, thanks for being here, you guys. I really appreciate it. We all do. be back in just a minute you guys
Can you help people come back in? Anybody back? <coughs> no, not yet. <laughs> 